Welcome to Kara's Cures, a digital show and podcast where we explore the cutting edge of wellness. I'm Kara Sundlin, and this episode is sponsored by the Center for Advanced Reproductive Services, a place to help create your dream family. Today, we're talking about how to detox for better mental and physical health. And here to talk about this is Victoria Soul. She is the author of the new book, Lifting the Layers to Vibrant Health, Detox for Body, Mind, and Spirit. Welcome, Victoria. Thank you so much, Kara. I love being on a show that's cutting edge wellness. It's wonderful. I know. Yeah, well, you're a doctor of natural health. You're a Chopra certified meditation teacher, among other things. I know you run some juice and vegan cafes. So you know all about this. Tell me a little bit about your own story. You became just really curious about trying to use your own body to heal after your brother died of cancer. Yeah, well, originally what really intrigued me about detoxing was when I had gone to Hippocrates Health Institute in West Palm Beach, Florida, and I, at that time, was just exploring different ways of healing, and they have a 21-day detox detox program, and I just saw a man there transform. It was absolutely miraculous. He was in a wheelchair the day that we got there, and the doctors had given them the go home and sort your affairs speech. And instead, he ended up at Hippocrates the next day because his son pleaded with him to do that. And four days later, he was walking and feeling so much better. Wow, that's pretty quick. Uh, And, you know, let's talk a little bit about detox. Why do you think we all should detox? I think we all need to detox because we are constantly over consuming number one, but really we have 21 billion pounds of toxic chemicals released into our environment every single year. And that impacts us all. I know it kind of feels like that's impacting someone else, but it's really everywhere in our environment. It's in our skincare, cleaning products, the foods we eat and the water we drink. So there's really no way to avoid that. And the body can only handle so much toxicity before illness begins. And it impacts not only our physical bodies, but our minds as well, because it's stressful. We have a lot of stress in our lives as well on top of it. And the foods that we eat and the way that we think it's, we're a whole picture here, body, mind, and spirit. So if you've never detoxed before and you're thinking about it, you want people to know you can detox without deprivation. How do you do that? Yeah, I think that's the primary reason that I created my Lifting the Layers program and wrote the book was because I had thousands of people come through my juice bars that would do a short-term detox, you know, a three-day juice fast or the lemonade cleanse or mono diets or herbal detoxes. And always they would return to their old habits as soon as it was over. So I created the program to get a little bit more out of that. I started to think like, how can we really utilize this way of thinking? Because you do get some results after a few days. And I wanted people to get more results for the willingness that they were putting in to change what they were doing. And so I've had really amazing results with the people that have come through my program and read my book. Yeah, so let's start. Um, If you're listening to this and you're thinking, okay, I want to try it, you recommend a seven-day detox, and how do you start? I do recommend seven days because I think that's really a a fair amount of time to recognize that you you can adopt some new habits into your life. We all know we need to eat more vegetables. It's just something we've we've all been raised to, to, to do. And the reality is we just aren't eating enough vegetables. We need to eat more organic vegetables. So The way that my program works is that you'd have a shake for morning, a salad for lunch, and a soup for dinner. And you're eating only plants because plants are the most healing, nutrient-dense foods that we can consume. Do you think that we shouldn't be eating any animal? There's so much controversy about that. I mean, we know we have to have high-quality lean proteins, but we also hear the other version that, especially as we get older, it's really important to have protein. The easiest way to get that is animals. Um, So do you think after you're done detoxing, is it okay to have fish and chicken and some lean beefs? I I do think it's okay. I think that we we have it too much and but I've been living on plants for over 30 years myself and I I don't need any animal products. I know a lot of people that have too, but I know there are lots of people that don't want to give up animal products. And I completely understand that. And I believe that you can do that very healthy. You know, if you pay attention to where the meats are coming from, which we we now know, you know, that factory farming is just no way to eat because it's the, they pump those animals full of 
not only hormones, but all sorts of antibiotics and things that we don't want to consume ourselves. And whatever the animal has eaten, we, we're eating too. Yeah. So I think, yeah, we just need to limit it. I think it shouldn't be as much. People think they need protein at every meal, and that's not really true. You don't. You need the meat as, they also have the meat as a condiment. We should have like our whole plate. If you're looking at a plate, I've heard 75% of it should be fruits and vegetables, a little bit of grain, and then the meat is like a condiment rather than the main dish. Is, is that what you think? Yeah, I think so. I think, you know, eating fish a couple times a week and maybe some bird a couple times a week is really fine. And then once in a while having steak. I mean, there have been so many studies that have shown that people who live the longest, healthiest life eat just a tiny bit of meat. They don't eat a lot. Yeah. So it's not to say that you can't have any, but I think during the detox program, you really don't want to have any because your digestion takes up the most energy in your body and you really want to spend it getting rid of what's already stored there when you're doing a detox. So you start with a seven day detox and I'll tell you, I mean, you've admitted this, most people wanna start a detox because they wanna lose weight. Is it a good way to lose weight? Absolutely, it works like a charm <laughs> every time. I mean, if you wanna lose weight and you do a detox, you're gonna drop a few pounds. I've had so many people say to me like, oh, I've tried every kind of diet and I couldn't lose anything and I just lost five pounds in a week. So it's really amazing how it is so good for that. But the, the way I want to take it to the next level with people is to have it to start to shift how they think about what they're consuming every day. Right. So you want this not to be a one-time thing and then you're like, oh, okay, I can't wait till Saturday when it's over and then I'm going to the bar. This is a kickstart to really change self-sabotaging habits so that you've seen it really change people's whole health trajectory so they end up healing from really chronic diseases. Absolutely. I mean, that has, that's, I get so excited about that part of it because yes, I did lose my brother to cancer when I was 17 and I've watched so many people be really ill and not understand why. And once you, once you put a good doable program in place that tastes good and you're enjoying it, you, you really don't want to go back to your old habits so quickly. Everyone that's done the program, most people, I should say, say they want to do it a second, third, or fourth week before they even start to go back to eating the other things once in a while because they're satiated and they're recognizing that they're really feeding their body really well for the first time. I think time is a big obstacle, right? I'm a busy mom. I find myself, you know, thinking I'm going to do this and then reality hits and I have to have snacks on me or maybe I have to run through something. Try not to make it, you know, bad fast food. But what about eating out when you're trying to detox? What about all people who don't cook a lot or they're living on the road? What do you suggest? Yeah, I think for the first week, if you can stick to not going out just to get your feet under you and recognize how to really do this so that you feel satisfied. Then, you know, when you go out, you can certainly order out. Now things are changing. I mean, I've had the juice, had the juice, I had the juice bars for 10 years. I haven't had them. I sold them a few years ago, but so many more restaurants are off healthy options yeah. and really you, you can still go out to a restaurant and make the majority of your plate vegetables which is really what you want to do okay so once you start eating out if you're eating out you know just getting um, a nice healthy salad now what about dairy there's so much conflict over that I understand at least most detoxes I've been doing you're not having any inflammatory food which would mean no wheat no dairy no sugar would that be the case with your program it is absolutely the I think that for the first seven days, if you're eating only plant food, you're giving your body a chance to adjust and you're, you're stopping those habits that, you gotten, that you've gotten used to that are probably causing you to be where you are, to lose, want to lose weight or heal a health concern that you have. So you really need to just stop putting the toxins in for a certain amount of time until you stop wanting them every day. What about, I know when we're on the detox, right? You want to be as organic as you can. And, 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 and we have, most of us have access to go, even Walmart has organic options. But I think sometimes when people, they'll get fixated on, well, okay, this apple's not organic or these berries aren't organic. Would it be better to have plants that are not organic than just go eat something that isn't a plant? Absolutely. I say that in my book. If you can't get organic, eating non-organic is okay. Absolutely. You want to get those. Detox? 
plants are the most healing food there is. They're just loaded with phytonutrients and antioxidants and nutrition. So you don't want to stop eating them, even if you have to consume some of those. Of course, you want to wash them really well because we do have chemicals sprayed on our food. Uh, and if you can wash it off, you're going to get a lot less of that. Okay, so it does work to really rinse them well under water, especially I know berries are part of the dirty dozen and my kids love berries. Thankfully, they eat a lot of them, but I always worry about that. <laughs> I know. Berries are great. They're amazing, healing, blood purifying food. They're such a wonderful food. I highly recommend you get only organic. And if you have to get the frozen ones, then make more smoothies. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so what else? What about alcohol? People always ask about alcohol. Obviously in the detox, you're not going to have alcohol for the first part of that program, the seven days. But a lot of people will say, well, it says it's healthy to have one or two drinks a day or a glass of wine or uh, as, uh, as uh, from where you sit as an expert on detoxifying and long-term health, where does alcohol factor in? I think occasional alcohol is very doable. I think it can be good for you because you're socially, you're having a good time, you're, but not a lot. Of course, one glass of wine or one drink or whatever you're going to have, and then maybe two if it's a once in a great while, but eating, I mean, drinking alcohol every day more than one is really not good for your liver. And your liver does like 500 processes in your body. So you wanna be really careful with too much alcohol because alcohol is another reason why people store fat on their waist. Yeah, okay, so so people are looking to lose weight and they're thinking, well, I'm watching my calories, but if they're having even something low carb, like Tito's and soda every night or something like that, that alcohol is gonna help create belly fat, even if it's not beer. Absolutely. And I think that's the key. What you just said is every night what you really want to do is treat these things like the treats that they are. It's what you do consistently over time that really adds up like charges on your credit card. You want to be careful that you're doing the best thing you can most of the time. And once in a while you have a treat, whether it's once a week or twice a week. And, and that's to say, then it's really a treat because you look forward to it. You enjoy it more and your body thanks you for it. Now, we have vilified some vegetables, namely potatoes and sometimes carrots or bananas as, oh my gosh, those are high carb, high sugar foods. What's your take from a detox perspective? I don't have um, bananas in the detox program. I might have one, just one shake with it, but I don't vilify them. I think that if you're eating all plants, they can be part of it. Not a lot, of course, because you want to really lean more toward greens and um, use fruit a little bit. Mostly what you really want to eat is mostly vegetables and some fruits, not seeds and grains. So I have soups in my program that do have potatoes in them. I do have a salad on there that has potatoes in them. And I think potatoes are amazing because they are a complete protein. So they're potatoes satisfying. Are? I thought they were just a carb. I never knew that. Quickly. I'm sorry. I talked over you, but potatoes are a protein. I didn't know that. I know they are. <laughs> I thought they were just a white, you know, one of those carby things. They say, you know, unless it was a sweet potato, but, uh, and they I, have, <laughs> they have all the amino acids. So that's why they call them a complete protein because a complete protein just consists of all the nine, nine essential amino acids that you need to get. Um, lastly, I know women, especially in midlife, they're really focused on like, what's happening to me. Why am I gaining weight when I'm eating the same things? And, and a lot of them are turning to detox or trying to figure out the best diet that what they ate in their 20s, their teens, their 30s even isn't working past 40. Things start to change, shift. They're gaining weight, having hormonal issues. Does a detox help with that? Absolutely. I have had so many women that are in the middle of their life that could not lose weight that started to do the detox program that did. So I really think part of that is we love our wine. We love to drink more wine when we're in the middle of our life. Our kids are probably grown and they're out of the house and we're just enjoying more. We're enjoying food more and life more. And Taking a break from that just for a little bit can really show you that you do have some control because when you get to that age, you start to feel like, well, I don't have any control. I'm just gaining weight and I can't stop this. So I guess I'll just keep going down that road. Well, Victoria, I know you really outline it. Um, I'll say I, I haven't done your program yet, though I have your book now, so I'm definitely going to look into trying uh, your version of it. Victoria Soul, Lifting the Layers to Vibrant Health. Um, it's a doable program. I, I've experienced a lot of more energy and 
all that um, from doing detoxes. Uh, I've been told it's good to do them quarterly at least, but um, if people are interested in this, can they get your book anywhere? Yeah, they can get it on Amazon or on my website, yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and I, your website you know, is I just want to add one little thing com. about that. Yeah, that yeah. When you get your mind on board, when you start to detox and you're using, usually we think, well, we'll put our health off till tomorrow. But when you use that, I'll do the healthy thing for just for right now. That's a really good tip to keep in mind because when you do the just the healthy thing for just right now, you're really taking a change to do the new way of thinking about detox. I love that, right. Instead of I'll start tomorrow, how about I'll just do the healthier thing right now, put off the, the bad stuff. So, but I, you know, I like that you say nothing's completely off the table, but we really have to think about what we're ingesting because we do tend to over consume, especially in America. We over kind of overdo everything. We really do. <laughs> so for more information, you can find more information about Victoria's book, about uh, a lot of her journey and, 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 and other tips at victoriasoul.com. Again, the book is Victoria's Soul by Victoria Soul, and it's lifting the layers to a vibrant health. Thank you so much for your time, Victoria. Thank you, Kara. It was wonderful. Yeah, and thank you for being here for Kara's Cures. You can learn more information on the cutting edge of wellness on the podcast. Just download and please subscribe, share with your friends. It supports our work that we do here. Uh, there's more information at just scrolling back on the podcast for Kara's Cures or on WFSB+. Plus. You can also follow me on social media at Kara Sundlin. Have a great day, everyone, and be well.